In this video, we will learn how you can automatically send bulk SMS on Twilio from Google Sheets. So with the help of Pavily Connect, we are going to get all the contact details and message details from Google Sheets and send bulk SMS via Twilio. Come to my screen to see how we do this. To send bulk SMS from Google Sheets using Twilio, let us first go to Pavily's website. You can see the landing page of Pavily. On the top right, you can see two options sign in and sign up free well if you sign up free you will get free tasks every month so do not forget to sign up since we already have an account we will just sign in pabbly connect on the top right you will see a create workflow button it will ask you to name so we will simply write google sheets to twilio Now it will show you two windows, trigger and action. Trigger is when this happens, action says do this. So our entire automation process would be based on these two steps, trigger and action. Let us understand this with the help of an example. A trigger can be when an order is placed, an action can be add the order details in a Google Sheet. So now let us begin. and use schedule as a trigger application. So this will basically help you decide at what time you have to send the message to your customers or clients and what should be the frequency. So here, like it is written, how often would you uh, want to run your workflow? So we will select once. You can select as per your requirement. You can select particular dates or days of the week as well. I will just select once. Now you can schedule the time and date. So I want to send the message on 10th September, say, and the timing would be, say, 1 o'clock. And here you can see the time will be based on your account time zone. And here, as per our time zone, it is Asia Kolkata. Let us just save. Okay. And now it has saved the response like you can see how often it will run your workflow just once on this date and time and the time would be as per your zone time zone that is asia kolkata now on to the second step so now we will select google sheets for the action event we will select get rows all right so i will show you this is my Google Sheet account uh, with the name Twilio Test and these are the contact details of my clients, my customers, the name, contact number, email address and the message that I have to send to them. So what will happen is with this get rows, what it will do that it will bring all these details from the Google Sheet in Pabbly. So I will just connect, add new connection. Connect with Google Sheets, just select the account and since I was already logged into my account, I will not have to give my credentials, I will just continue. Okay, and now these are the spreadsheets that I have in my Google Sheets, in my account, in my Gmail account, you can see. So now I want to work on this Twilio test. This is the sheet one, like you can see Twilio Twist and we are working on sheet one. Now comes the range. So what is range? Let us read the help text here. Enter range of the sheet, example A2 is to D5. So here you will have to select the range according to the amount of data you want. So let's say I want data right from here, that is from A2 right from here till here, that is D4. So now my range would be a2 is to d4 so what it will do is it will capture it will bring all the data right from here that is from dummy a2 till d4 so all this data will be captured here now what we will do is we will just turn off the simple response and click on save and send test request Okay, we have received the response and if I extend this, you will see it has brought all the data from the Google Sheets. Here you can see the name dummy, contact of dummy, then the email address of dummy, then the message. 
like this then it has captured second row like you can see abc abc's contact number then the email address of abc and then the message again like you can see and so on similarly it has captured the data for third row as well you can see xyz and contact details however this data is in unorganized form so what we are going to do is we are just going to click on action step select iterator and this is going to remain the same so what iterator will do is this is going to convert the data that is in array format it is going to convert the data from array format to row format so now it when we click on save and send test request so it will give you the data row wise okay let me just click on save and send test request and you will see here it has brought you the data row wise i'll take you here see the first row dummy the dummy's contact email and the message we have to send and the best part about iterator is so what will happen is in the next step when we add twilio and the message is this thanks for subscribing this message is sent to the first contact dummy then iterator after sending message to this then iterator will move to the next row that is abc it will pick the contact details of this row of this name abc then the twilio would send the message to this person that is abc to this abc iterator then would come down to xyz it would pick the details for xyz and the twilio would send message to xyz then so this loop is going to continue that is the iterator is will keep uh, picking contact uh, row wise one by one till the last contact of your google sheet okay so now what we will do is we will just click on the action step and select twilio now for the action event we will select send sms connect add new connection all right now here it wants to few details like account S sid then authorization to token and again account sid that we that is we have to give account sid twice okay for that let me take you to twilio this is my twilio's dashboard <clears throat> right in front you can see account sid just copy this come back to pabli paste it and since it needs sid once more we are going to paste it again then it needs authorization token again let us go to twilio and you will see authorization token here we will click on show then we will copy it come back to pabli and paste it and save okay so now we have to give body of the sms so we are just going to write hi hi comma we will take the name of the person who we are sending this message to so i will take hi dummy okay then i'm just going to give a space come down and map this full message if i'll scroll down you will see thanks for subscribing we will shortly reach you so we are going to take this and this would be the body of the message this message is going to be sent to dummy now comes the sender number so that we are going to take from twilio come to twilio this is the dashboard scroll down and in the bottom you will see twilio phone number just copy it come back to pabli and paste it all right now it needs the contact number of the recipient all right we are going to take it from the iterator this is the contact number that the, that is the person to who we are sending this message to let us click this map it from here and if you'll read the help text you would know it says enter the contact number of the recipient in this format that is with country code and a plus sign so all we already have a con uh, country code in a phone number you can see 91 or this is the code country code for india so our phone number starts with 91 all we need is plus sign so just i would manually write plus here and looks we are good to go 
Now, before we click save and send test request, I want to tell you something about the mapped fields. Like you can see these fields we have mapped in, the message we have mapped in here in the body, the name we have mapped in, the recipient number we have mapped in. So what will happen is from next time, these mapped in fields will automatically be updated. So what will happen is once the message is sent to this dummy person, iterator from the Google Sheets will pick the second row that is ABC. And what will happen here? Instead of dummy, ABC's name would come here. Then the message is going to come here. And ABC's, this you can see, ABC's contact number is also will, will also be mapped automatically. We will not have to map in these details again. All right, now let us just save and send test request. And you will see we have received the response like you can see that's how the message uh, would be sent it will show sent from your twilio trial account then hi dummy thanks for subscribing we'll reach you shortly i'm now going to show you the screenshot of the message of twilio message and that's how we integrated twilio and google sheets using pabbly connect I hope this video was helpful for you. For more such videos, you can subscribe to our channel on YouTube. For further queries, you can visit forum.pabli.com and you can also check our pricing details at www.pabli.com.